Return from the Abyss, the miraculous survival of Apollo 13. 55 years ago today, the world held its breath as three astronauts who had stared death in the face for four harrowing days finally splashed down in the Pacific Ocean, completing what NASA would later call a successful failure. Two days into what should have been America's third moon landing mission, the calm of routine spaceflight was shattered by Commander Jim Lovell's immortal words, Houston, we've had a problem. An oxygen tank had exploded 200,000 miles from Earth, crippling the command module and leaving astronauts Lovell, Jack Swigert, and Fred Hayes fighting for survival in the cold void of space. What followed was perhaps humanity's greatest improvisation. As oxygen leaked away and power dwindled, the crew abandoned their main spacecraft and crowded into the lunar module, a vehicle designed for just 45 hours of operation that would now need to sustain three men for four days. The world watched as mission control and the astronauts transformed potential tragedy into triumph. They fashioned makeshift carbon dioxide scrubbers from spare parts using only items available on board, duct tape, plastic bags, and cardboard covers from flight manuals. Engineers worked around the clock, inventing procedures on the fly that had never been tested or even imagined. As temperatures inside the spacecraft plummeted to near freezing, the exhausted crew persevered through dehydration, minimal sleep, and uncertainty. Their re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, the most perilous moment came after days of silence as their damaged craft blocked radio communication. When Apollo 13 finally emerged from radio blackout, the relief was universal. Against astronomical odds, three men had been rescued from certain death through human ingenuity, courage, and what many called divine intervention. The safe return of Apollo 13 wasn't just NASA's finest hour. It was humanity showing what we're capable of when failure is not an option. 